Stories of the American frontier often praise white settlers for their bravery and resilience. But there are stories of other pioneers whose struggles were never documented and are rarely told, such as that of Chinese woman Polly Bemis, who made the West her home. Although we're not sure what name she was given at birth, Polly is the name she took when she was smuggled from China to America at age 16. There, Polly was bought as a concubine by a Chinese man and taken to a remote town in Idaho. At the time, many Americans were angered by an influx of Chinese laborers who worked for less pay. This would lead to the passing of laws that restricted Chinese immigration. Polly found it difficult to fit in, even with other Chinese immigrants who spoke Cantonese while she spoke Mandarin. By 1880, the Chinese man with whom she lived had disappeared, possibly returning to China. And Polly grew closer with Charlie Bemis, a local businessman who had treated her with respect and invited her to manage his boarding house. In 1894, the couple married and moved to a farm on the Salmon River. But because Polly had not obtained a new certificate of residence, which was required for all Chinese immigrants, she was taken to court. Thankfully, she won her appeal and was allowed to stay in her new home, though she, as a Chinese immigrant, would never be granted U.S. citizenship. When Charlie died in 1922, Polly was forced to strike out on her own. She managed to find work taking care of children in the local town and discovered a newfound sense of freedom. In 1923, she traveled to nearby Grangeville. It was the first time she had ever experienced modern American city life. The local newspapers even ran a feature on her. She described it as the best experience of her life. In her final years, Polly moved back to the Bemis farm, where she lived happily until her death in 1933. Her story gives us an insight into what life was like for immigrants in America at a time of great change. How can you channel your individuality to overcome the odds in the face of adversity? <laughs>